everybody, this time around we're going to take a look at a number of on-demand Brad Pitt movies, the latest top five from the big screen, and a bunch of the latest bingeable box sets, if I can call them that, every one of which you can watch right now. But let's first delve into the latest bunch of fantastic choices in your on-demand films, where you'll find multiple movies from everybody, from Russell Crowe to Harrison Ford, Sandra Bullock to Meryl Streep, Tom Cruise to Tom Hanks, and loads more besides. This small sample right now is grouped together not by genre or actor, but by location. And as every Irish person knows, if you ever get the chance to visit New York City, first impression, you feel like you're on the set of a movie. So with Steve Carell and Tina Fey in the lead roles, Date Night is an action comedy. Sort of heartwarming, brisk, goofball romp, really. So let's start with a New York nighttime car chase. Take the wheel. What? Just take it. This guy won't lay off the brakes. Yeah, it's date night. Now, the New York Public Library has featured in countless movies from Breakfast at Tiffany's in the 60s, Pritzi's Honor and Ghostbusters in the mid-80s, Quiz Show and the Thomas Crown Affair in the 90s, and this century, everything from Made in Manhattan to Spider-Man. Not many of the actors in those films had to enter the building the way Jake Gyllenhaal has to do it in 2004. Understandable, really, when you see this. Yeah, that New York Public Library is at 5th Avenue and 42nd Street. Now, downtown Manhattan, or lower Manhattan if you like, is the fourth largest business district in the US. So that means Wall Street, and both movies are available to watch now on demand. Wall Street Money Never Sleeps, that is, from 2010. And here, the original from 87. In the last seven deals that I've been involved with, there were 2.5 million stockholders who have made a pre-tax profit of $12 billion. Thank you. I am not a destroyer of companies. I am a liberator of them. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, that greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Greed is right. Greed works. Greed clarifies, cuts through, and captures the essence evolutionary spirit. Greed in all of its forms. Greed for life, for money, for love, knowledge has marked the upward surge of mankind and greed, you mark my words, will not only save Teldar paper but that other malfunctioning corporation called the USA. Yeah, that is Wall Street, of course. And finally, it's the semi-autobiographical, multi-Oscar-nominated immigration story from Irish writer and director Jim Sheridan. 
The Sullivan family settled down in a rundown Hell's Kitchen tenement. For the kids, the two young girls that is, it opens up a whole new world of possibilities. For the parents, Paddy Considine and Samantha Morton, it's a place rife with challenges, dangers and weirdness. Speaking of which, here's Dad bringing home the air conditioner. Open the window! Dad, open the window! Open the window! Open the Now, in amongst all the films and box sets available to watch right now at no extra cost in my prime, let's take a sample of some of the newer stuff available. For instance, all 22 programmes in the complete fourth series of the story of Olivia Pope's crisis management firm in Scandal. It's 4am. You don't go in at 4am unless something big happened. Did someone drop a nuke on us? Separation of church and state, Leo. The aliens land. Is the White House on fire? Liv? What? Wait! I'm sorry. <laughs> Say that again. What? Are you kidding me? That's Scandal, and from season four of Scandal to all six series, the entire run from beginning to end, that is, of the Grey's Anatomy spin-off, Private Practice. You two gonna have a regular checkers date? Yeah, we're gonna play all the time at Ryan's house. It's really big. Yeah, there's a pool. Sounds like he has big plans for your future together. He's getting a little ahead of himself. Uh, he must be crazy to think you'd put yourself out for him after what he did for you. Oh! Dr. King, Ryan said that I could drive his convertible. Hold on, I didn't say you could drive the convertible. No. I said we would go driving <laughs> in the convertible. You, you said that I could drive the convertible. Oh, oh. Kevin, sit down. Sit oh. down. Oh. What did I do? Bleeding into your abdomen. I need some help I'm here. sorry. What did I do? Get him out of here. Oh. What did I do? Come back to his room. Sorry. Go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh. What happened? Uh. What did I do? Uh. What did I do? Uh. What did I do? Yeah, 111 programmes in all, where Kate Walsh stars as Dr. Addison Montgomery. How about 121 episodes? That's all five seasons of the teen drama, The I'm Secret sorry, Life of the American anymore. Teenager. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. What's going on? Amy's home. She came back a few days early. Oh? Yeah. She got in late last night. It's interesting. I didn't expect her back so soon. I didn't expect you back so soon either. I didn't come to ask for my job back. I just came by to thank you for letting me work here with you. I really learned a lot. Like, you can't attack another employee at work? That, and I learned that jobs are not a right, they're a privilege. Especially when working for someone so experienced and knowledgeable and impatient and kind and pretty. You can go now. So, crisis management drama, medical drama, teen drama, and now for something completely different. Again, the entire series to go hand in hand with the big screen movies also available of the surreal and A Division classic observational comedy sketch show, Monty Python's Flying Circus. Morning, sir. Morning. Um, I was uh, sitting in the public library of Sermon Street just now, uh, skimming through Rogue Harry's by uh, Horace Walpole, when I um, suddenly came over all peckish. Peckish, eh? Isurient. Eh? Yeah, we're all hungry like. Ah, oh, hungry. In a nutshell. So I thought to myself, a little fermented curd will do the trick. So I curtailed my wall polling activities, sallied forth and infiltrated your place of purveyance to negotiate the bending of some cheesy comestibles. Come again? I want to buy some cheese! Oh! 
I thought you were complaining about the music. Oh, heaven forbid, I'm one who delights in all manifestations of the Terpsichorean muse. Sorry? I like a nice dance, you forced you. Anyway, who said that? Now it's time to count down some of the hot off the big screen films that you can watch right now on demand. At number five and aimed squarely at the teen market, the model Cara Delevingne stars in the coming of age film about a girl who loves mysteries so much she becomes one. Bingo. Air. Wait, why don't you need an air? All will be revealed shortly, my young friend. Six months older than you. Remember that? Oh, really? Are you? Margaret, don't. Stop, stop, don't. It's really loud. Don't. Stop. What, were you trying to say something? No, don't. Can't do that. <laughs> stop, stop. What, what else do we need? Interesting capitalization. I'm a big believer in random capitalization. The rules are so unfair to the letters in the middle. Not as weird as it looks. Still weird. At four, old fashioned video arcade games come to life where intergalactic aliens invade Earth, and Adam Sandler, filming a Donkey Kong routine, has a problem climbing up a ladder. Up the ladder, fast! Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> what were you climbing? I tried to do too many steps there. <laughs> <laughs> this Donkey Kong. Life size. Makes you feel like you are inside the game, which is kind of crazy. It's not supposed to be an immersive kind of game. It's one of the most exciting scenes I've ever been involved with in terms of shooting. You can tell, it's so exciting here. Drills are happening, everything's happening at once. Ah! Maddie! Where the hell's my mouth? <laughs> this right here, this big budget stuff right here. Max tells the story of a military dog from Afghanistan who's adopted by his late handler's grieving family back in America, where his close bond with the soldier's brother leads to life-altering revelations. Good morning. Sweetheart, good morning. I was looking all over for you. You been out here all night? I don't want to talk about it. Well, your friend called, what's his name, Chewy. He says it's urgent, you gotta call him back. Oh, and uh, Mom, do you want me to start going to the bathroom right here? I can do that too. Sounds good to me, as long as you pick up after yourself. And from the action and family friendly adventure of Max, to the fact-based story of an accused killer, played by James Franco, and his unsettling relationship with a disgraced New York Times reporter, played by Jonah Hill. So why, why me? You picked up the Times and you thought the name sounded funny? Or... No, I, I followed your whole career. What? I've always found your writing appealing. The adventure, the way you stand up for people that don't have voices. I probably read everything you've done. I guess I felt like I knew you. So I read the paper. Did you do it? You should be asking the same thing. That is true story. And finally, if you're a fan of movies like The Squid and the Whale, Greenberg, Margot with the Wedding and Francis Ha, then you'll have a rough idea of what to expect with the latest offering from writer-director Noah Baumbach. In Mistress America, a lonely college girl goes along for the ride as her soon-to-be stepsister, played by Greta Gerwig, gives new meaning to the word bonkers. Why do you live in New York? College. I got a barn. It's all women uptown. Well, historically and kind of actually, but there are boys in my classes and stuff from Columbia. You gay? No. The Columbia girls do their best to make us feel inferior, which is like I already do. That's stupid. Don't feel inferior. You're right. That is stupid. I never went to college. I'm an autodidact. Do you know what that means? Yes. That word is one of the things I self-taught myself.
Now with so many on-demand films to choose from, let's take a look at one actor and a selection of his films that you can watch right now on demand. Since his breakthrough role in Thelma and Louise back in 1991, Brad Pitt's been a major Hollywood star for a quarter of a century now, so let's take a look at a selection of the films that you can see here. In the classic, subversive and psychologically violent film from 99, David Fincher directs Brad Pitt as a soap salesman and as a man in charge of Fight Club. Every week, Tyler gave the rules that he and I decided. Gentlemen, welcome to Fight Club. The first rule of Fight Club is, you do not talk about Fight Club. Second rule of Fight Club is, you do not talk about Fight Club. Third rule of Fight Club, someone yells stop, goes limp, taps out, the fight is over. Fourth rule, only two guys to a fight. Fifth rule, one fight at a time, fellas. Sixth rule, no shirts, no shoes. Seventh rule, fights will go on as long as they have to. And the eighth and final rule, if this is your first night at Fight Club, you have to fight. Director Doug Lyman, for a movie he was making called Mr. and Mrs. Smith, was thinking about everyone from Will Smith with Catherine Zeta-Jones to Johnny Depp with Kate Blanchett. Then he settled on Brad Pitt with Gwyneth Paltrow, but since Gwyneth was Brad's ex, he settled on Angelina Jolie. The result, an old-fashioned screwball comedy with two rival assassins, brisk action, great chemistry, lots of fun, a marriage in real life of the film's two leads, and the creation of a brand called Brangelina. <laughs> So it speaks, but does it dance? I was patrolling the pachinko, you new model parlor in the Nefaria zone. Hanging out with insects, underducting, the CIA was on the phone. In seven years in Tibet, he undergoes a spiritual transformation. Brad plays an arrogant and famous Austrian mountain climber who sets out on a Himalayan expedition in 1939 only to fall into the hands of the Allied forces as a prisoner of war. Two days into Tibet's western frontier and we are graciously kicked out. Our guides have strict orders to escort us to the Indian border some 40 kilometers away and to shoot us if we attempt escape. It must mean hello. As long as they don't try to kiss me. Ah, you. Ah. And more recently, by the way, in the gripping, energetic action horror thriller World War Z, Brad plays a UN employee who travels all over the globe in an attempt to find a solution to a worldwide zombie plague. Get back in your car! Get your belt on. Rachel, right now. Jerry? Rachel, get your belt back on. 